take one. Anytime you're ready. Mr. Cassio, Maxwell Acker, I, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, I told you never come here. Oh, no, no, it's, it's okay. It's important why I came. And they think I'm on a routine inspection. <laughs> I supply informants who do not have the false concept of being exempt from the rules for the supply of antiviral. You have been of absolutely no use to this organization. Uh, well, you won't think so when I tell you what I found out. Well, um, so you already know that the Fifth Division is still stationed patrolling the lower district of the city, investigating the rumor that the low case distribution is based on the development of a naturally grown antiviral. But did you know they were broadening their search to include vegan restaurants on Gregory Street? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, well, did you did you know that the twenty first unit was now headed up by Sergeant Donovan, the police officer who busted your boy down that zone? Yes. Well, I know something you don't know. I'm getting transferred to the sixth unit of this district. That's the unit that's working closest to this building. Like, I guess you already knew that. But if they start getting too close, I'll be able to tip you off. I already have a source of information from the sixth unit. Well, that's great. <laughs> uh, who, who is it? Maybe we can uh, c compare notes. <laughs> if you were smart, you would consider avoiding this business until you found information I would consider useful. You can leave now. I can only assume that would be Lee. Though I have to say I'm not impressed. I've been expecting you for several days now. It's been nearly a week since the party. I didn't make the run, Gideon. I'm sorry. I suppose I wasn't aware you didn't know how our little game works. You... No, no, it was my mistake. My mistake. I've been caught up with light bulbs and old cars. I can't ask for a healthy organization without being open about business strategies and motivations. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? Anytime you're ready. The headaches are coming more often, Malcolm. Too soon to get old. Damn it. We're both too young to be old, aren't we? You remember the lake house you brought me for the first time? Now there's a summer I won't ever forget. Gosh, that's been what? 70 years ago? You know, I went back and fixed up your old boat. Fully redone. Replaced the rotted spot, gave it a brand new paint job. You'd hardly know it was the same boat. <laughs> And that's not it either. I mean, I must have fixed up that whole place by now. Added a garage to keep some of the things out there. Mostly antiques. You wouldn't believe some of the things I've recovered too. Things from your time. What are you, 150 now? Hell, there are things there that were already antiques pre-pandemic. I must have a way of bringing back the past. After all, I've got 19th century light bulbs working. If that ain't a feat to be proud of them. <laughs> uh, though they do a, a lot of restoring in the 2060s. But light bulbs and cars were the last thing people cared about when the pandemic hit. Why am I telling you? It must have been you that told me stories to start with. You hold in there, Grandpa.